In this video lecture, I will show you the computation of effects using Yates method for 3 raised to 2 design using the same example for which I computed the effects in the usual manner, the link of which you can see on the top right corner of the screen. Now let us compute effects of 3 level factorial design using Yates method. First we list down the treatment combinations in standard order. For 3 raised to 2 design, the standard order of the treatment combinations are 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0. And then we introduce 0, 1 and add this treatment combination to the previous two numbers and we get 1, 1 and 2, 1. And then I introduce 0, 2 and again I will add this number to the same treatment combination 1, 0 and 2, 0 and I get 1, 2 and 2, 2. So this way we have listed all the treatment combinations of 3 raised to 2 design in standard order. So this is actually if I write in terms of the notations using lowercase Latin letters, this is N0 P0, this is N1 P0, this is N2 P0, this is N0 P1 and this is N1 P1 and similarly N2, P2. In the next column, we write the yields corresponding to the treatment combination. So, corresponding to N0, P0, the yield is 449. Corresponding to N1, P0, the yield is 413. So, the next number is 326, which correspond to N2, P0. See, N2, P0. And then the next number is 409. I am just feeding the yields row wise. So, this way I write all the yields. And now what we have to do is make the triplets of these yields. So first three numbers together, then next three numbers together, and then next three numbers together. The first three numbers of the next column is actually found by adding the numbers in each of the triplets. That is, we have to multiply this vector of order 3 with the vector 1, 1, and 1 or simply we find the addition of the numbers in the triplets. So 449 plus 413 plus 326 is equal to 1188. Now the next number is sum of the observations in next triplet which is 409 plus 358 plus 291 equal to 1058. And the next entry is the sum of the observation in the next triplet which is 341 plus 278 plus 312 which comes to 931. The next three entries are found by multiplying these triplets with the vector minus 101 or simply we will be finding the last observation of the triplet minus the first observation of the triplet. So the next entry is 326 minus 449 which is equal to minus 123. After that we find 291 minus 401 which is minus 180 and then 312 minus 341 which is equal to minus 29 and now we multiply these triplets with the vector 1 minus 2 and 1 that is we have to find 449 minus 2 times 413 plus 326 which is equal to minus 51 and the next entry is found by adding 409 with minus 2 times 358 with 291 and we get minus 16. And the last entry is 341 minus 2 times 278 plus 312 which is 97. Again we make triplet of the entries in the column we have computed and then we will compute one more column from this column in the very same manner this column was found from the previous column that is if i number this column as one this as two and this as three then column three will be found from column two in the very same manner the column two is found from the column one okay so the first three entries of column three is the sum of the observations in the triplets. So 1188 plus 
And minus sum of these three observations, minus 51, minus 16, plus 97 is 30. And now the next three entries are filled by finding the difference between the last observation in the triplet and the first observation of the triplet. So the next entry is 931 minus 1188, which will be minus 257 then minus 29 minus of minus 123 which is 94 and then 97 minus of minus 51 which is equal to 148 and then the last three entries are found by again multiplying these triplets with the vector 1 minus 2 and 1 that is you have to find the sum of first observation and minus 2 times the middle observation and the last observation of the triplets so 1188 minus 2 times 1058 plus 931 is equal to actually 3 you can uh, make the uh, do the mathematical computation and then minus 123 plus minus 2 times minus of 118 minus 29 is equal to 84 and minus 51 minus 2 times minus 16 plus 97 is equal to 78 so this way we have computed these two columns from the original yields one has to compute as many such columns as the number of factors in the experiment that is in general if there are k factors in the experiment then k number of columns must be computed like this since this is 3 raised to 2 factorial design so we have only 2 factors so we have computed only 2 columns had this been a 3 raised to 3 factorial design we would be computing one more column now the question is how do we identify which figure belongs to which effect so let me tell you the first number belongs to the grand total g and the effects now can be identified from the corresponding treatment combinations that we have listed in the first column so number minus 270 corresponding to 10 actually gives us the linear effect of nitrogen 30 corresponds to 20 so it gives us the quadratic effect of nitrogen minus 257 corresponds to 0 1 so this is linear effect of phosphate 94 corresponds to 1 1 so this is NLPL component of the interaction between NP now 148 corresponds to 2 1 so it is the NQPL component of the interaction NP 3 corresponds to 0 2 so this is quadratic effect of phosphate 84 corresponds to 1 2 so it is interaction component n l p q and 78 corresponds to 2 2 so it is interaction component n q p q